Hi there. Um, so I've just found this really cool thing for Unity and augmented reality. And it's a uh, marker detection library called Vuforia. And just thought I'd share it with you. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, so when I say augmented reality and the uh, marker detection, um, augmented reality of course means uh, sort of overlaying the real world with the uh, computer generated objects. But you see here, this is just a quick example of what it's capable of. So once it finds its marker, you can add objects onto it. And you can rotate them and manipulate them, and it's just a really cool thing. And I say there's a, I'm doing some work at the moment on augmented reality, and uh, this is the library I'm using to achieve that. Uh, so just have a quick video and show you how it's all done. Um, so uh, let's create a new scene. I want to say this. Right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to sign up to this website here, developer.vuforia.com. Um, all these links should be in the description. And once you've signed up to this, you then just need to go to resources, uh, and then the Unity extension, and then just download the Unity extension, 289 for Android and iOS. And then uh, once that's downloaded, you will have a package. Uh, there, Vuforia Android, Unity Android. Uh, and then oh, you just import that. And then once you've imported that, you'll be left with all these assets here. Um, right, so now we've got the library, but it doesn't know anything about the images we want to use or anything like that. So the next step we need to do is go to Target Manager. And then you will have a database already. So if you just go create a database, I'm just going to call mine TestDB. And then go into your database. And then we need to add a target. Uh, so I'm just going to call this task target. Uh, I always use a single image because I'm not trying to find any cubes or cylinders or cuboids. Wait, uh, I just tend to put in 100, always seems to work okay. Uh, and then after that you need to choose your target image. So in this example, since I've already got this printed out, I'm just going to use body target 3. And then just click add. Um, now the type of image you use, you want it to be quite detailed. You also want it to be quite big if it's a small image. It what do very well at detecting it and it'll give you a score here of how well of how good the image is for detection basically um so i say it has to do a bit of processing but then if you leave it usually a few seconds and press refresh you see it's come up here so we've got five star right in here so we know that's going to be good um and then so you can carry on adding more targets if you want to detect multiple ones but in this example we're just going to use one um so then once that's done yeah, you just want to tick it, and then once you've ticked it, uh, click Download Selected Targets. Again, make sure you select Unity Editor. I'm going to say, just leave it as TestDB. I'm going to create this. Wait for it to download in. And you see here it's going to download. It's come up as a Unity package, so I'm just going to save that. Right. So you see, if we went into our streaming assets, we would have... There are our old ones. In the example that I just showed you, because uh, we don't want them, so import my test DB, which I just downloaded. And you see here we've got our test DB ones. I could delete these now if I wanted to, but it just makes no difference. Okay, so we now have everything we need in Unity to be able to do this. Uh, so the next step is to go open the Qualcomm augmented reality folder, then go to prefabs, and then there's only two prefabs we have to drop in here. But the first thing to do is you want to get rid of your main camera, because we're not going to be using that. Uh, so first thing is drop in your AR camera, and then also drop in the image target. Now I'm going to center this. Yeah. Um, so on our AR camera, there's a couple of things to do. We need to load the data set that we want to use. Now I've still got that body one, which I showed you earlier, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use our test DB. Uh, once you say that, make sure you uh, click the activate. I think it says activate. Yeah, make sure you click the activate button as well underneath it. Uh, and then that's just telling us what data set we're going to use. So if we then go to our image target, again, same thing. We're going to use our data set test DB, and we're also going to use our test target. You can see here it's come up there. Uh, so that's it for the setting side. Uh, so now, really, it's just what, adding whatever model you want to add to this target. So I'm going to create a sphere. I'm going to center it. I'm going to scale it up a bit. Uh, place it on top of the marker. Uh, I'm also going to parent it to the image target. 
and I'm also going to I'm going to apply a texture to it as well just so you can see just so you can see it moving about now let's use the same texture that we've used for that sign so now if we hit play as well if you've got multiple cameras set up you have to select the right one There we go, so now, can we do it, can we move it back? Now you see it's a bit dark actually, I haven't put any lighting in it, just put a bit of light. And there we have it. And uh, it does a uh, distance as well, so if you move further back it does get smaller, and if you move closer it will get bigger and it'll move around. It's actually pretty good sensitivity wise I find. It works very fast. I've tested this on a tablet as well, a Motorola Zoom, which isn't very powerful and again it's, you know, it works in real time. It's really, really good. Um, so that's it. As I say, this, uh, this is what I'm using it for at the moment. I'm working on a on like an augmented reality An augmented reality sort of medical interactive learning app. And then so you can see that you're going to be able to see the muscles and everything in motion as you do it. And I say I'm more best not on this target stuff. So you see that. So the person's going to be like this, and then as the person moves, you're going to be able to see all the muscles in action, and you'll be able to zoom in and see it on different scales and everything. So it's pretty good this stuff I think it's really cool but yeah just thought I'd uh, show you and that's it thanks for watching